everyone, welcome to this video. Today I'm gonna to show you how to draw a realistic eye. You're gonna need a pencil to draw with, you're gonna need an eraser, and you're also gonna need a small eraser. If you have a large one that has really sharp corners, that's fine, and you'll just need a piece of paper, uh, and that's it. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so to start with, we are gonna draw an oval that's lemon-shaped. All right, and so when you draw your, your oval shape, one of your corners, you're gonna have two corners, right? One on each side. One of your corners is just gonna be a regular corner, but then one corner on one side will be kind of rounded. All right, this is gonna be this side, this corner will be the one that's closest to the nose. It's a little bit different, all right? And it's gonna be pretty round. All right, so the next step is to draw the iris. All right, the iris is the big circle in, on your eyeball where the color is. Even though in real life that's a circle shape, we're not gonna draw a circle. Instead, we're gonna draw a set of parentheses. All right, so that is my iris, all right? Now we need to draw the pupil. The pupil is the dark part in your eye. It's that black circle right in the middle of your iris. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna freehand draw a circle, and this is how you do it. Put, decide where the top of your circle, where you want the top of your circle to be, and just draw around. And you're just gonna keep going. And you're gonna move your whole arm. I know you can't see my whole arm, but my entire arm is moving. My wrist, my elbow, my shoulder, the entire arm is moving. So, that is not a perfect circle, all right? But there is a perfect circle within there. So all I have to do is take my eraser and just erase all of the lines I don't like, all right? Any line that does not contribute to my perfect circle is gonna get erased. All right, so we have our, our oval shape, we have our iris, we have our pupil. The next thing we're gonna do is we are gonna make a highlight because eyes are very reflective. If you look very closely at someone's eye, you'll notice a little white spot or maybe even a few little white spots and those are reflections of light hitting their eye. So to do our highlight, I'm just gonna draw kind of a curvy rectangle. I'm gonna start inside my pupil and it's gonna extend over this line into my iris. And remember, you're drawing a curved rectangle shape. And the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my small eraser and I'm gonna erase all the lines inside my rectangle so it's a per, so it's completely white inside. So I got my reflection. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is draw our eyelids. You have one on the top of your eye and you have one on the bottom. We're gonna start with our top eyelid. What you're doing is this top line, that top of your oval, you're basically making that line again, but just underneath it. You're gonna start in your sharp corner,
it's not gonna end right in the corner here. It's gonna, it's gonna fall in line with the top of that curve. Now I'm gonna do my bottom eyelid and I'm gonna do it the same way I did the top one. I'm gonna start my corner. All right, so I got my two lines, but I'm not done. We want our eyelids to look like they're in front of our eyeball. So we need to erase a bunch of all these lines that are in between. Erase all the lines whoops, that are in between the top of your oval and your eyelid line. And then it should look, when you look at your drawing, it should look like your eyelids are in front of your eyeball. Now that we have our eyelids done, we are gonna do iris lines. So what you're gonna do, I like to start with the inside lines. There's a set of inside lines and outside lines. So I like to start with the inside lines and you're just gonna use your pencil and you're gonna go along the very edge of your pupil and just draw lines that come out. Alright, and none of them are going to go all the way across, but you're going to vary the length. So you're going to have some long ones, some medium ones, and some short ones. Alright? Alright, now when you get to your highlight, obviously you're not going to draw inside your highlight, but you're going to go to your top edge of your highlight and you are going to draw some lines that come up. Because there's, those lines are still there, they're just hidden behind the highlight. So you're just going to see them come off the edge a little bit. Those are my iris lines on the inside edge. Now we're going to draw the same kind of lines, the same variation of lines. We're going to draw them from the outside towards the pupil. You're not going to connect any of them together. We don't want a, any of our lines to go from here all the way across, but they will look like they connect. It will look pretty close, all right? So, I like to start on one of my edges, like up in the corner here. I'm filling this space on this side. When you do the part on your eyelids, those lines are still going to be there. Just don't cross into your eyelid space. You want to leave the space where your eyelids are. You want to leave that white. If you do have some lines that accidentally connect, that's okay. We just don't want to do it on purpose.
So there we go. All right, so I have my iris lines from the inside going out and from the outside going in. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna color inside our pupil. So you can just use a regular pencil and press really hard to make it really dark. I also like to use a black color pencil. That's what I'm gonna use this time. So what I like to do first is I like to trace around the highlight because we don't wanna get anything inside the highlight. So I kinda draw a little wall around it. All right, man, look at the difference that makes. It already looks super good now. All right. Once we've colored the inside of our pupil in, we need tear ducts, all right? You only have one, and it's gonna be on this side of your eye where our curvy little corner is. So we're just gonna grab our pencil, and to do it, it's super simple. You're just gonna draw a little curvy line like this. And it's gonna give us kind of, it's gonna turn this corner into kind of a triangle shape. That's it, that's your tear duct. That's all you need, just that little bitty line. Now that we have our tear duct, the next thing I'm gonna do is we have eye creases we need to do. So above our eye and below our eye, we have these little creases in our skin that follow the shape of our eyeball. So we're gonna draw those in. So we're gonna start with our top skin crease. So we're just gonna draw a curved line I'm gonna draw a curved line. For me, it's easy if I start where my line's the highest and then draw down. We're just gonna draw a curvy line. All right. So once we have that, we're gonna draw, we have a bottom crease that we're gonna draw as well. And this one's a little bit different. All right, so on the side where your tear duct is. Kind of where this line ends, you're gonna go just down to there. And you're gonna draw a line that curves around. It's not gonna go all the way. It's gonna go a long way though. Yeah, about right there. All right, just to the other side of your pupil. Right. But we're not done. There's actually several crease lines underneath and they're all kind of connected. So we're gonna draw, there's gonna be a shorter one that comes out and then there's gonna be another long one. Whoops, I messed that one up. Hang on, let's try again. Just like that. So the next thing we're gonna do are our eyelashes. They're kind of like iris lines. They take a long time to do. The more time you take with it, the better they're gonna look. So patience. And what you're gonna do is you draw, we have eyelashes on the top eyelid and on the bottom eyelid, all right? And they're gonna grow out of this, out of that eyelid line. The way I do my eyelashes, I usually start with my top line. And your eyelashes on top are gonna to be much longer than the ones on bottom. And in the corners, the ones on the corners are gonna be shorter and they're gonna gradually get longer as you get closer to the middle. All right, but what you'll do is you're gonna start on your eyelid line and press down right on that line and then just push your pencil up. Just like that. 
Alright, and you want them to be pretty long. Mm, maybe a little too long. <laughs> so we're going to draw our lines. And you want them to be very close together. If when you're drawing your lines, if you notice there's a space in between them, draw another hair there. Alright, and you're going to make your way all the way down to the corners, alright? So I kind of start with the ones in the middle. Those are my top eyelashes. Now we're going to do them along the bottom. Right. The bottom, it's going to be pretty much the same. You're going to do them the same way. They're just not as long, all right? They're much shorter. So they're still going to be short in the corner and get longer, but they're going to stay pretty short the whole time. And they're much straighter. They're not super straight, but they are going to be quite a bit straighter than the uh, ones on top. The ones on top are usually curved a little bit more. Not always, but most of the time. So the last thing we need to do is our eyebrow. Now your eyebrow is going to be a curved line. It's going to be pretty high up. All right. I usually start by drawing the shape of it by drawing a curved line. All right, so the way that eyebrows work, the side that has your tear duct, this side over here, this side over here, the hair is going to go up and down. I'm gonna angle my pencil to the side, and I'm just gonna follow on top of on top of my sh my curve line here. I'm gonna scribble on top of it. That is it. That is how you draw a realistic eye. If you wanted to keep going, the next step would be shading and coloring. Um, this is an example of an eye that I've done. I drew it the exact same way I drew this eye, and then I colored it with color pencil, and I used the color pencils. I had some skin tone color pencils, and I used some other ones to do a color wheel iris just for funsies, and I used that to do my shading and coloring. And the eye on the other side is going to be a mirror of this one, all right? So if you drew your tear duct on this side, this is the side that's closest to the nose. So your other one would be on the other side. Go make art.